Hi guys, Super Sonic Boom Wilson here once again. And Blue Eyes 48. And today we're doing a let's play of a very famous game which was considered the best game on the PlayStation 1 library. And I'm gonna have to raise my voice because I don't know if you guys can hear me. So yes. Yeah. Um well I could move closer, why did not I do that? So I wish I'm I'm tapping too tall these days. Anyway. Um, anyway, we're not gonna tell you what the game is, you have to guess it. This. It's going to say on the thing though, isn't it? Yeah, but um, I will. <laughs> oh, Sony Computer and Tape Bureau. It's done by Universal. Oh, Morty Dog. What could it be? Oh, that. Yes, it is Crash Bandicoot. Three. Yes. So let's start this son of a gun. Alright, look. New game. It's not played since I lost. Oh, I can't remember the Spyro code now. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, well, new game. Oh, man. It's gonna be well weird. We won't skip the intro, we'll be very quiet in the intro. Try not to let your face put a gun off. So yeah, um, we're gonna um, speak a little bit now. So technically, it's, a, it's set immediately after Crash 2, and pretty much Crash and Coco, which will Aqua Aqua Toy will explain in a minute. Simple and easy. Okay, so the aim of the game in Crash 3 is technically, it's a bit the same as Crash 2, um, with an added thing in it. Oh, he's analog. Um, there's, fi um, there's five worlds still, and um, so, um, they have improved some stuff, like um, you can see on the ground, Crash now has a shadow following him. And um, you also can play as this little rat right here. Oh man, the main theme. So let's start. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? Oh lord, I have a magical fire. You will find it. 
But anyway, um, yeah, we decided to do a Let's Play of Crash 3. Um, we will try and get one of the boxes. Um, I mean, I've done it before. So. On this level, it's indignably easy. Will we do a Let's Play of the other Crash games? Will we? Maybe. Maybe, probably not, but we might probably do a let's play of um, Spyro 2, or probably even... Actually, in a minute, we was going to do a review of Spyro 2, weren't we, together? Yeah, let's do that too. Because the other one I deleted because it didn't turn out very well. Um, and I thought, you know, perhaps we should actually add gameplay into it, along with my friend Luke here, so... Um, oh, there's some These bits, I think, are easy. Well, some of them are annoying, but... You need to get them all when you get the boxes. Well. Sure. Another thing that I didn't prove in uh, Crash 2, compared to uh, compared to uh, Crash 3, um, was that I think the music in this is probably the best music in the entire trilogy. Um, and also, CTR's music was awesome as well. Um, they, they all had really good music. I think the first one I didn't really like the music, the soundtrack that much, apart from a couple. The second one didn't improve the music, but this one's my favourite music, I think. And, uh, you know, it was a great way for Naughty Dog to end their trilogy with Crash. But obviously, they did do another game afterwards anyway, which ended their time, didn't they? So, uh, who are we to judge? So, yeah. Just concentrating, because we like to concentrate. Crystal. Crystal meth. <laughs> um, can't believe you bought that milkshake last week. <laughs> yeah, half a pound. Yeah, that's what you would. That's a gem. How did, how, so, how did you get the relics? Well, it's going to do the relics after we beat like Cortex. A, yeah, okay. It's like a time challenge, isn't it? Yeah. Like um, and if you don't know, those numbers are for the boxes. Exactly. Yeah, um, there would usually be our number um, in the middle there, and there will be a box in next to it, and that means uh, how many boxes you would need to get. So let's do number two. Now this level is going to be really annoying. I'll let you know that now, because the swimming levels are really stiff. And when you compare it to the Spyro swimming controls, mm -hmm. I think it's just a they're much better. Actually, they they have no issues in this one. Controls. Um, I full ninety boxes. Controls are so a bit well. I don't know. Like one minute they're loose, the next minute they're not. Yeah. So annoying. Um, yeah. Really annoying this one. The controls. I made babies with my ancestors. Ah! So anyway, um, yeah, this is my favourite crash game. I don't know about yours, Luke. Is it the same as well? Crash Bash. Crash Bash, yeah, you said Crash Bash was here, well, this is my favourite one. Um, this was okay, this is my second favourite. It actually is, well, as people actually really like Crash Bash. Um, yeah, this was the Yeah, I know, uh, you know a lot of people have said that the Naughty Dog games um, with 
crash. Uh, what time? Ten minutes. Yeah, let's uh, say after this level. After this level, we will end it here. Right, so after this level, we'll end it here, and uh, we will. Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back, but we're just going to do the Spire Two review. So we'll probably be back in a couple of hours. I'll probably do get the first uh, walkthrough out of the way, wouldn't we? Yes. Or even the second bit before we get But, we'll try. Oh my god. Ouch. Oh, um, well, well, that's good. Well, shit. <laughs> that didn't go according to plan. Well, we're going to have to come back for that gem later. Sorry, I'm going to Right. So, anyway, we're going to end this uh, part here. Um, thank you for watching. Back, so, thank you for watching and enjoy the other videos in the meantime. Bye. Yay!